Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the More, and today I have a card tutorial to share with you. This one is using our Mixed Borders stamp set, and I really like this. Um, it's really quick, easy, and it really makes a really pretty card. I'm also using the Lovely Lace um, embossing folder and let's see if you can see the detail in this it just makes it really pretty and it gives it a lot of texture so this is what I'm sharing today and uh, what you're going to need is a basic whisper white which is five and a half by four and a quarter don't look at my fingers because they are full of ink I've been stamping all day <laughs> and then one piece that's one and a half by five and a half so this is going to be for our border this is the stamp set that we're using and it's really a fun set. You can use all these different sentiments that it has four different sentiments and it has several different borders that you can use. We're going to do the flower one today and it is a two step stamping. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our leaves. So I have my large block because this is a long stamp and we're going to place our leaves on here and I have to do it you can do it straight but I'm doing it on a diagonal and let me grab my border here and then I'm going to use some old olive and ink that up you can use your stamp and write markers on this too and just uh, color the flowers in however you want and the leaves. Let me get a little bit better on the leaves down here. A little bit better coverage. And then first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp this leaves right in the center. I just found this is the easiest way to do it. And then stamp your, fl your flowers. So there are your leaves. We'll take this one off and put on the flower stamp. And I'm using Flirty Flamingo. You can see my ink pads are super juicy because this is the new in color. And then we're going to just stamp this. You have to look to see where you're placing it. I hope I don't get my head in the way. And then just stamp it down. And you can see through these, they're photopolymer, so you can see through them to see where to place it. And there you have your flowers. Isn't that pretty? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use some chocolate chip and I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says thank you so very much. and make sure I have this straight and all the sentiments do fit in this little space here so there you go we're ready to attach it to the card add some ribbon and a little bling and it will be done oh we didn't emboss the card yet <laughs> so let me grab the big shot we have to do that it just doesn't look as nice if you don't emboss it. I love it, the embossing folder. So you're going to need your multi-purpose platform, one of your plates, and then we're going to take the embossing folder and we're just embossing the front. And let me see, I got it upside down. line it up and then another plate on top and run it through and okay, let's move this all out of the way and we have our card embossed. Can you see that? It's so pretty. So let's go ahead 
and attach it now to the front of our card base. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon and I'm using our Flirty Flamingo Ruched Ribbon. This is our new ribbon and I, it's so pretty. Let's see if I can tie a, a knot in this. I struggled earlier when I was doing the other one, so let's see how I if I can make a decent one. Okay, we're going to go with that one for now. I'll have to fix it because my knot is upside down for some reason. But it's okay, I'll just go ahead and fix it later. And what, what you might want to do is add a glue dot underneath uh, your ribbon here. Okay, so just add a glue dot. Got away from me. Right on, underneath your ribbon. And if you need one down here, you can add one down there. I'm not going to add it because I need to fix my knot. And then I'm just going to trim these. And we're going to add a few of our basic rhinestones just to bling it up to the big flowers. It really adds a lot to it, these little rhinestones. All right, so there you have it. Very quick and easy and really pretty. Here's the other one that I made. And I did put another glue dot on this one because you see my knot is much better on this one. It took me a couple tries, but I got it. So that's the project today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies for this project, you can shop right online at my blog at stampingwiththemoray.com. Everyone have a blessed day, and until the next time, bye.